What is up guys? This is my 2012 Ninja Kawasaki. I just wanted to do a quick review on it, let you guys know um, basically what my 1000 mile review is. This is a 2012 250R carbureted and it is metallic gold vinyl wrap with carbon fiber accents. A little bit of carbon fiber there, a little bit of carbon fiber up here. Um, so far it's been a pretty good bike. The mileage right now is 3464. I've had this for about almost a thousand miles, so this is why I wanted to do the review. It looks completely different than when I first got it. Pros and cons of this bike. Cons would be everyone assumes that it is a bigger bike. And when you tell them it's a 250, people don't really believe you. Or they expect you to have a bigger bike. That's really the only con I see. The other only con that I could think of is that it doesn't have as much torque as, let's say, a faster bike. I have been on a faster bike, so uh, you can definitely feel a difference. But it's not that big of a difference. Pro for sure is that insurance is super cheap. I pay... Um, a little under 50 bucks a month for it. That's because I have some points in my license, but if I didn't, it would have been 10 bucks. And that's here in the city. And I am currently 22. So everyone else is different. So if you're young and you're looking to get a bike, you're looking at around that for insurance a month. Um, running cost. Uh, basically, I serviced it at 3,000 miles because I bought it with 2,500. And um, it gets serviced every 1,500 miles. So at 3,000 miles I serviced it, everything was great, brakes were good, tires were good, all the fluids got refilled, and um, I paid uh, 60 bucks for an oil change, and then an extra 10 bucks to my friend to just, you know, look at all the fluids and refill everything that needed to be filled. So all in all, I've spent about maybe 70, 70 bucks on just maintenance, and that's just basic oil change that has to be done. Nothing wrong yet, nothing that, um, you know, affects performance or anything. Uh, everything's basically stock besides the wrap. I bought the wrap myself and I wrapped it myself, so I spent 80 bucks on the wrap. And then I wrapped it in a day. Um, can't really say much. I did fall when I first got it, so... Hence, there's a tiny little dent there. And a little bit of scratch in there, but it wasn't too major. I was going like five miles an hour, and someone jumped in front of me. And it was raining the morning before, so I slipped and it sort of got scratched. But I painted it right away. Uh, I added these little markers over here so that people could see me when I'm turning. I just felt that the way that the setup over here is with the with these lights, it's too flush, and. Um, I feel like people really couldn't see me if I was turning from the front, so that's why I got that put on. Some people hate it. I don't really care. I like it. I did it for safety reasons. I didn't remove the tail thing um, simply because, you know, it's a 250. I didn't really feel like modifying it heavily. I only bought this bike because I needed it because I sold my car. But it's been a good bike to me. Really, really good. It's hella fun. It's really quick. You know, a lot of people say, oh, don't get a 250, don't get a 250, you'll get you'll get tired of it, you'll get bored of it. To be honest, I really don't want to sell it. The only reason I am selling it is because I'm buying myself a car. But this thing is super nimble, super light, and very, very forgiving. You know, I've this is the first street bike that I've owned, and it's uh, it's been quite, quite an adventure with it, you know. It's, it's easier to do mistakes with these small bikes because the the risk that there are with those mistakes aren't as big as it would be with like let's say a 600 or a thousand you know there's been a couple of times where I hit a bump and by accident I hit the throttle and because there's not enough torque well not a lot of torque um, so it's not instant you know my bike did jerk but you know I was able to hold it God forbid this was in a thousand, you know, the slightest little bit of throttle you give it and, you know, 
it's an easy way to get into an accident if you don't really know what you're doing and you're looking for something to start with. This bike is fast. It's all depending on what you feel is fast. If you're looking for something in a straight line, yeah, this probably isn't the fastest bike. If you're looking for something that, you know, goes pretty quickly, I've hit about 90 with this on the freeway. And it's it's really, really nimble. It's really, really it gets up there, you know. Obviously, you gotta shift a lot, but um, it gets up there, you know. People say that these bikes aren't quick. 90 miles an hour is 90 miles an hour. It doesn't matter what you're in. So, I think this is an excellent bike. I kind of don't want to sell it, and I really wouldn't give it up for anything. Except the fact that I'm buying a car. So, yeah, this is my two pennies on the Ninja 2012 250R. In case you're looking to buy one, you should definitely consider them. Um, try getting one with low mileage. That way it's easier to sell. Best time to buy bikes is winter time everyone's trying to get rid of their bikes so it all depends on um on the person and what they're looking to buy but i think a 2012 uh ninja 250 is definitely one of the last 250s that are great models to run with and very easy very nimble and they look nice you know this doesn't look like a 250 i get mistaken for a 600 all the time could be because of the um the decals, I guess, the, the wrap, but it's a great looking bike. It is a great looking bike.